All right, hello there and welcome once again to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we are going to be talking about time remapping. So what is time remapping? Well, basically you wanna view it as another way of stretching or shortening uh, what is happening in your clip. So here we have a clip right here of Seoul, Korea. I'll just play it through. Notice it's going pretty fast. All right, so what could we do if we wanted to actually mess with the timing here? Well, you could do something called time remapping. So basically you right click on the clip, then you go up to time, and then you press enable time remapping. Now, notice when you do this, your layer becomes extremely long. That is because now you can mess with the time as far as you want to. And now you have these two keyframes. What do these two keyframes represent? Well, this first keyframe represents your starting time of the clip. Notice that it starts at zero, zero. And then the second keyframe represents the ending time of the clip when the clip stops. Notice that it's now at six seconds. And if I go further, nothing else plays because the clip ends there. It ends on this last frame. Okay, so what if we wanna mess with these times? Let's say we want the clip to go a lot faster. We can just drag this down and we'll drag it to two seconds, play it through. Notice how it played a lot faster there. If I drag it really far to like 18 seconds, notice now it's playing a lot slower. Okay, good, so we get the concept there. Now, let's say we wanted to actually, I'll drag this back to six seconds. Okay, so let's say we wanted to mess with the timing maybe in the middle or in the beginning of the clip. We can do that as well. So I'll put a keyframe at one second, and let's say I wanna drag out this first second really long. So I'll drag it all the way to five seconds. Notice what happens. Notice now that first second is being played very slowly, and then the rest goes extremely fast. So that's another way that you can uh, mess around with uh, time remapping. And also, you need to notice here too, if you delete your keyframes, the time remapping actually disappears and you'll have to go and add another one. So I'll undo that just as a side note. And you can also you can also adjust the timing of your keyframes by this little time thing here. So let's say I wanted the clip to end at the three second mark and not play all of this other footage. Well, I could actually adjust the last keyframe and set it to three seconds. So I'll do that. Now the ending keyframe has been set to three seconds. And the last thing that will be seen is that last frame on the three seconds. So if I play it, and then it stops there. Okay, so what can we do if, say, we wanted it to come in and just to play normally like it has been? So like this, it just comes in like that. And then say, like, around here we want it to stop, and then we want to reverse it or inverse it. What can we do? Well, we could simply add a keyframe here, like this, and then we'll go to 10 seconds. And then on this time here, we'll set it to 0 seconds. Add a new, it'll add a new keyframe once you do that. And then if we play it back, actually I'll scrub through it first so that you can see. So it comes in normally, it's going forward, then it stops, and then notice that it's all going backwards now. It's going backwards. So I'll play that. Comes in normally, stops, goes backwards. So that is the concept behind enabling the time remap and I hope that you will try it out in After Effects. Until next time.